I, I just have that question about the spontaneous release of each here and now. And it's, it's so wonderful because it just, uh, you, you can't even think about it really. Because thinking about it, it's, it's gone in an instant. And in the Balanced View training, we have these perfect metaphors that allow you to just relax and not need to think about it. And one of them is all thoughts, emotions and sensations vanish naturally like the flight path of a bird in the sky. Or all thoughts, emotions and sensations uh, disappear without a trace like a line drawn in water. And these metaphors perfectly articulate the spontaneous release of each here and now for me. Where we can't even really capture it. If we look at our experience right now, there's not a moment really, not even a fraction that we can really hold on to. We see constant arisal of thoughts, emotions, sensations, this one, that one, the next one. And we can recognize that naturally they resolve without us having to do anything about them. Sirens passing by, naturally resolving, leaving no trace. perfectly on cue. <laughs> but really we see what, how can anything stain this perfect reality? How can anything be, get stuck? We can liken our mind to the sky that has never had a cloud, never even knows of a cloud. Flawless, blue, clear, vast. And, and so to recognize open intelligence, we hear this word, open intelligence. What exactly is that? It's synonymous with open, clear sky. It's synonymous with, with mind. To know your mind as it just really is, just right now, stop thinking. And I see a whole sea of people looking back at me with still clear, alert knowing going on, regardless of if you have stopped thinking or not. This knowing, always present, always clear and alert. Right there. Always there. What is always there about you? Always clear. And so we recognize this for short moments many times. This is a practice in Balanced View, just totally simply throughout the day. Test it out in your experience. Relax for a short moment of open intelligence. Repeat that throughout your day, throughout whatever you're doing. And naturally, you, in my experience, I started to see that this was the case. These metaphors became a reality in my experience, my only reality, where it's just very obvious that even the most uh, Horrible circumstances and sensations, emotions, experiences I could try and muster up. They, they couldn't affect this nature of perfect intelligence, natural intelligence. What is incredibly natural about you? Everything. Everything is so perfectly natural and at ease and and so when we, for short moments, recognize this uh, in the midst of all of these things that we say are unnatural, like uh, tension or um, worries, concerns, when we, when we allow arrogance even to be as it is, this, I don't know, for me that was something that I had to steer very, very clear from. Otherwise, all people would be, would point at me and put me down, <laughs> do something like that. that. That was a horrible thing to even think about, something like arrogance. And when we allow that to be as it is, we see naturally we, we have these, this clear understanding of what this energy is really about, what any energy bubbling up in us is really about. 
what it really is about is being of benefit to, to all and our capacity as each human being to, to be of incredible, incredible service and benefit in this world. And so every thought, emotion and sensation has that at its basis, this fire of benefit, a basic energy of bright, brilliant benefit. So right now, again, relax, allow everything to be as it is. Everything that you are experiencing is perfectly there for you to, to recognize open intelligence. Whatever you are experiencing is custom fit to you for your recognition of open intelligence, for your demonstration as an exalted human being. So relaxing with those uh, those worries, hopes, fears. I see in my own experience, my greatest hope is just to recognize open intelligence for the benefit of all. It all boils down to that. And my greatest fear, that I won't recognize open intelligence for the benefit of all. And, and uh, that's sweet, isn't it? <laughs> we all have this wish, this deep hope to be of great benefit and this deep fear that we we may not be, and, and we can take it however way we, we see. And, and, and so that really simplified a lot for me. It really simplified a lot that I, all of my actions, my thoughts, my emotions, and my sensations, my data, we just might like to use the word data to, to encapsulate for all of you, all that you can experience, all that one can experience, simply put as data. Data are continually vanishing naturally, leaving no trace, like a rainbow in space we can't find, uh, uh, we can't seem to capture it. And this is a relief, I, I find. This is a great, great relief to know, to know the very, uh, well, in, in my experience, I, I just was continually running around trying to prove that actually these data streams have an independent nature, and doing the same things again and again and expecting a different result, repeating the same things over and over again. On, on loop, and and so what? What really um, to know that every thought, emotion, and sensation, every experience, every thought can be likened to a rainbow in space. It deeply clarified how I can act in the world, how I can be, what I can do in the world as well what I have to do with these thoughts, emotions, and sensations, nothing. Allow them to be as they are, recognize their, their ultimate identity as pure benefit, beneficial energy. So just like I would never run after that rainbow in space and try to prove to you all and yell out to you all that actually I can capture it, I can, uh, bring to you the, the color purple and I'll be the best in the world. Now I see that actually uh, I don't have to do that with my thoughts, emotions and sensations, my, my personal identity either. All thoughts, emotions and sensations, I, I just allow them to be as they are, thought through short moments many times. And rely on the Four Mainstays. <laughs> I, there's, a, there's a nice piece of graffiti over here, it's FMS, and every time I see it, I just think of Four Mainstays. <laughs> it probably means something much worse than that, or <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know what it means, but uh, that's a nice meaning for it. <laughs> But what the four mainstays are is the, sh the practice of short, main, short, <laughs> short moments of open intelligence, like I've spoken about very many times now. 
and repeating that naturally throughout your day, just whenever you remember. And the trainer, being in touch with a trainer and something that I do always in, in relation to decisions and just in everyday life. Uh, that's it's just so incredible to, to open a decision up to, to not just me sitting in a, in a room in the dark having to sort out these, these thoughts and to come to some conclusion, to open it up to the support of, of ultimate wisdom and discernment and clarity is, is so perfect. And the training itself, which we're all involved in now, and like you saw on the, the video this morning, it's just an example of, of what's available freely and the community which you're exhibiting again, a, a place where we can open up all of these weird things that we thought were things that we needed to hide away forever in our cupboards. It opens up all data to, to its natural, bare essence, beneficial potency. <laughs>